What's up guys, Brandon from The Phone Doctors here. I'm going to be telling you about one of the greatest devices at CES this year, so stick around. Okay guys, I want to tell you about the Samsung Galaxy Note that's coming out. It's actually available in Europe right now. AT&T is going to pick it up this quarter probably. Uh, the first thing that pops in your mind when you look at the Galaxy Note is the fact that it has a 5.3 AMOLED screen. This thing is super bright, super clear. This thing has an 8 megapixel camera on the rear, so it puts it right in line with the iPhones and all the major droid players on the market right now. Biggest difference with the camera is the front-facing camera. The front-facing camera actually mimics to the resolution of a rear-facing camera of most of the phones out right now. The biggest thing about the phone, though, is the screen. The screen is monstrous, but it's not to the point to where it's uncomfortable to hold. When it comes to form factor of the phone, it's very, very super thin when you would think of a phone being this large, as opposed to a phone like the Dell Streak or something like that. So it's very thin. It's very ergonomic when you're holding it in your hand, for sure. You know, it's really hard to put the Galaxy Note in a specific category because it's, it's kind of somewhere in the middle between a phone and a tablet. Tablets are very bulky when you try to handle them, and, and God forbid you ever have to make a phone call with something like that. But, you know, it's not quite the size of a regular phone. It's a 5.3 inch screen so it is definitely somewhere in the middle. This phone has a dual core processor built into it so it's super super fast. The only drawback is is that it uses an older version of Android but they're probably going to update it I'm sure pretty soon to the new ice cream sandwich. Um, but you know it's still very very usable, it's very quick and very fast. It comes preloaded with 16 gigs of memory but you can actually update it to the 32 gig for sure. The Note function is one of the best I've ever seen on any device. I picked it up and I was a little skeptical of the Note to begin with, but when I actually started writing on it, you could really tell that they've spent a lot of effort in making sure that the pen functions with the, the phone very, very easily. Uh, there's no glitchiness, it's very fast, it's very crisp, very clean, there's actually pressure sensitivity to it. So there was actually people doing caricatures at the uh, booth this year. So you could sit down and somebody would actually draw a caricature out for you and they'd print it out and stick it on the, on the the, booth. the phone actually has a 2500 milliamp battery in it, so it's actually pretty stable for battery life. Um, you know, it's not as big as the Droid Razor Max. The Droid Razor Max has a 3300 milliamp battery, so you, you know, I heard you could actually uh, drive from LA to Vegas and back, you know, with watching a full full length movie, and the battery would never go out. So I don't think it's to that point yet, um, but it definitely is big for the for the screen size. So I think it'll keep up with uh, the screen resolution, how bright it is, and everything like that. But guys, that's pretty much all for the Galaxy Note. It's an awesome device. Uh, it's definitely made me want to reconsider my iPhone. I'm kind of an Apple guy, but uh, I'm definitely reconsidering it for the Galaxy Note once AT&T gets it. Like I said, be on the lookout for it. It's already available in Europe so I did see some people carrying it around in the Samsung booth and who actually owned it from Europe but it's not quite released here in AT&T so it's coming out very soon. Keep tuned to the phone doctors at the CES show we're gonna be here all the rest of the week um, we're gonna check out a few more booths and give you some more devices we've got some really cool things on the way. Remember to check out phone doctors on Twitter and check us out on Facebook at phone doctors USA and of course we've got our YouTube channel going all the time where you can get your repair guides and everything like that so keep it with us we'll keep Keep you informed and thanks guys. Have a good one.